Lovers, it's Mrs. Navi coming to you from my backyard with your second virtual lesson talking all about heat. And it's a perfect day to talk about heat because the sun, one of our major sources of heat, is shining today. I'm making sun tea, I have my thermometers out, and we're gonna do several experiments to introduce you to the concept of heat. Now heat is a type of energy. And we're gonna talk about insulators and conductors. We're gonna talk about what kinds of colors absorb heat and what reflects heat. If you haven't already, be sure you print out the lab sheets that go along with these activities. There are four today. This one, Color Matters, Instalab, and Heat Moves. And you'll be able to follow along with me as I do the experiments. The tool we use to measure heat you guys should know we learned about how to use these in first grade called a thermometer now thermo means heat so these tools tell us how hot or cold something is now these are immersion thermometers which means we can stick them down in liquids they're filled with not mercury that used to be used a long time ago in thermometers but it's alcohol and it's usually colored red so in first grade if you remember we made thermometers out of plastic bottles and we put alcohol and water in and colored it red. And when we put our warm hands on, the alcohol went up the straw because the alcohol expands when it gets warm. So that's how in a thermometer, when the area around the bulb gets warmer, the alcohol expands and pushes the red liquid up. When it gets colder, that shrinks back and pushes it back down. For our first experiment, which will show us a little bit about what happens when matter heats up, you do not need a lab sheet. Before we get into our experiments on heat, I want to do a demonstration that involves a bar of ivory soap. Now, ivory soap is unique in the world of soap. If you've used it before, you know that it has a unique property. When you put it in water, it floats, which is to your advantage if you're taking a bath and you lose your soap. Now, in the manufacturing process, ivory soap has air whipped into it and that causes it to float. So let's see what happens to that air when it's heated up. So follow me to my kitchen. Now to add heat to those pockets of air today, I'm gonna to put the soap in the microwave. Now remember, you always need permission from your parents before you put anything in the microwave. So I'm gonna put it in and set the timer to one minute. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. That was the best ever. Better than in the science lab. Let's see <gasps> what happened to our bar of ivory soap. Now, you make a prediction. Why did it turn into this mound of whipped up soap? Any ideas? Think about what happens when air is heated. So I'm sure you figured it out. When matter is heated, especially air, it expands, so those pockets of trapped air, they had nowhere to go and they expanded and made the soap very fluffy. Now let's look and see if this soap still floats. And yes, it definitely still floats just like it did when it was a bar of ivory soap. For our first activity, we're going to look at sources of heat besides the sun. So you're gonna need the paper that says hot stuff. Follow along with me and my family as we show you whether things are hot or not.
our second experiment, you need the sheet that says color matters. Don't worry about the small box down here. We're not doing that part. So this is an easy experiment you can do in your own yard. All you need is a white, red, and black piece of construction paper. So I've made them the same size and put them on a cookie sheet. And I'm going to put an ice cube on each one. Now this is an experiment to find out which color absorbs the most heat. Now think about when you dress in the summertime, what colors do you want to wear and what colors do you want to avoid? So let's watch the ice cubes. While we're waiting for the results of the ice cube experiment, I want to introduce you to a tool called a radiometer. Now notice it's got four paddles. They're white on one side and black on the other. Right now I have it in the shade, but watch what happens when I set it down in the sunshine. Immediately it starts turning. Now we need to revisit our ice cube experiment to figure out why that happens. The results are in. The black piece of paper melted the ice cube first. The white is still has a little chunk of cube on there as well as the red. Now why did that happen? Black absorbs heat. White reflects heat. Now use that information to answer the questions on your lab sheet and also make a prediction why the radiometer spins in the sunlight. These experiments are easy to do at home. Just make sure that you have an adult working with you because they do involve using hot water. So the one that says Instalab, we're gonna be setting it up with butter, a sponge, a metal lid, and wood. Now let's make a prediction about which type of material will melt the butter fastest. I've already see, seen what is starting to happen. I poured hot water under each one. Take a look at what's happening. So as you can see, our middle material, which is the metal lid, easily melted the butter. Hmm, I wonder if that means metal is a good conductor. The sponge and the wood, neither one melted the butter. Ah, well, now when we move the butter, we see that the sponge started to melt it just a little bit. You can use the results of that last experiment with the butter to make your prediction about what's gonna happen in this experiment. Make sure you're on your lab sheet that says heat moves. I'm gonna put a metal, wooden, and plastic spoon in a bowl. I felt them all. They all feel pretty cold, about the same temperature. I'm gonna pour hot water in. Now make a prediction on which one you think is going to conduct the most heat, which one will feel hottest when I feel it in about a minute. As I'm feeling the three different materials, the metal one is definitely the hottest proving once again, metal is a good conductor of heat. Third graders, I enjoyed making this video for you today about heat. Remember, it's just an introduction. Your teachers will teach you more about heat and I'll be back after spring break for a second lesson. My dog Henry loves laying in the sunshine, absorbing that radiant energy from the sun. I hope you get to do that as well. Vitamin D is good for you. And I will be back. <laughs> Let's see. 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 Let's see.